Well, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. That's what happens when you're a priest, I guess, right? You get phone calls or somebody walks into your office, but here I am, saint of the day. We are so excited to introduce to you today uh, just an amazing young woman by the name of Saint Joan of Arc. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight and then send you to a URL um, link to have you watch a little bit of a film clip that a friend of mine put together that I think just beautifully um, gives you a great insight into the virtues of this amazing young woman. So she's born in the 15th century, 1412. She starts, um, in, she's a, a, from a very, very pious family in uh, Northeast France. So she, she spends her youth in church, doing quite a bit of studying, uh, praying, and just becoming very, very um, a pious young woman herself. Her faith means a lot to her. So early on, she starts to hear voices in, in, during her prayers. And specifically when she's 13 year old, when she's 13 years old, she hears voices from St. Michael, St. Catherine, St. Margaret that specifically tell her, um, encourage her that she is the one who's going to, to go save France from England, from the English invasion, uh, occupation. And so as a 13 year old, she receives these visions. She eventually um, gets to the French court ask the, uh, the Dauphin. The Dauphin is the, the uh, oldest heir apparent of the king. So she petitions to spend some time in front of, in front of him and try to convince him uh, that what her, her visions are divinely inspired uh, and that she needs to speak to the king to lead his army. An army that, that eventually she will lead and she will uh, capture, recapture France back. Um, she will recapture France, yeah, to um, kick out the English and bring France free. So, um, what I want to do is today is to give you a better insight of who she is. So, I have a very, very dear friend of mine who is uh, now a deacon in the, the church in the Diocese of Atlanta, and he has this video apostolate that he's put together, put together films. Um, and it's called Cane and Wine. It's a production company that he's put together. C A N A A N, wine. Cane and wine. And it's an apostle that, that what he uses is, is uh, modern events and film to uh, help us gain a, a, a deeper theological insight into specifically like the saints. So he did a, a he did one on Saint Joan of Arc. So the URL in the comment section that you should have on your webpage now um, is uh, to take you to a, a film clip he did. It's about nine minutes long. It's called Wonder Woman and St. Joan of Arc. So he takes a look at this modern film of Wonder Woman and the virtues of this young lady, um, Wonder Woman herself, and how it leads us to a deeper theological insight of this great and courageous young 13-year-old girl who at 16, goes in front of the, the king to convince him that she is the one who's going to save France. How crazy is that? And that who actually, by the time she's 19, has saved France and ends up losing her own life in a very, very sad and suffering way that is not deserved. So wonderful uh, film. I highly recommend it. Um, and uh, again, it only takes about nine minutes to watch it. So I encourage you to do so. St. Joan of Arc. What an amazing and beautiful and just a, a fantastic saint of the church. So St. Joan of Arc, pray for us. Enjoy the little short film club, and we'll see you next week. Take care. God bless.